Okay, now this is the fun part. We are going to start making our, um, our pockets for our pencils. Now I have created a guide and this guide is one to help round the corners for the top flap of your colored pencil pouch. But then there's also a measurement guide down here and this is gonna help us line up our, um, our pockets when we go to put our colored pencil pieces together. So first you're going to line up the top of your pocket with this six and a quarter inch line that you've made right there. And now we need to line up the bottom of our pocket here and make sure that it's even and across. So what I'm gonna do, this first one is seven eighths of an inch. So I'm going to line up the bottom of my pouch with this line here. I'm gonna line up my edge with the edge of my seven eighths inch mark. And then when I put this piece down, I'm going to make sure that this bottom line lines up with this mark on the 7 8 inch. I'm going to pin in a couple of places here. And then I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I'm going to backstitch at the top of this pocket and sew all the way down to create the first line of my first pocket. Okay, now that I have that sewn, I've trimmed my threads, and now we're ready to make our second pocket. The first thing that we're gonna do is again make sure that our top is lined up with our six and a quarter inch line across the top, and then we're gonna match this line for our second pocket with this line for our second pocket. So you're going to have to pull up your fabric a little bit, make a little bump there, and make sure that those are all lined up. And then I will put a pin in the top here. And then to line up my bottom, I'm again going to line up the straight edge of my bottom with this straight edge on my template here. I'm gonna line up my stitched line with my 5 8 inch mark. And then again, I'm gonna bring this drawn line over to line up with my 5 8 inch mark here. So again, you need to kind of pull up your fabric. You're gonna create a little bit of a, almost a pleat. And then I'm gonna pin that in place. And I may add just one more pin in the middle to help keep my fabric straight. And then I'm going to go back and repeat. Back stitch at the top, sew all the way down, and then come back and we'll keep going.